This is the new F1 portable laser from Xtool. And it's not only portable, it's extremely fast. And it's also running two different types of lasers in this small unit. So this will allow you to cut and engrave a multitude of different materials. And here's everything that came out of the box. And one really nice thing about this laser is that it's pretty much self-contained. This acrylic shield will protect your eyes and everyone else's from the laser. And it'll keep all the smoke contained in this area as well and ventilate it out the back with the help of this built-in exhaust fan. And it does come with some exhaust ducting as well that I hooked up to my shop's exhaust. But if that's not an option for you or you're somewhere else, they do have this nice desktop air purifier for it that has a double layer HEPA filter inside of it that should be able to filter out all the smoke that you're making when engraving. There's also a removable base to this, so you can engrave on larger objects that wouldn't fit in here normally. And for cutting materials, it comes with this raised plate. That way you're not going to damage the engraving plate, and it also allows airflow underneath your piece when cutting it. And in one of these big green boxes, it came with a bunch of different materials for you to try out and test. And before I even try to use this, I need to remove the cover from the lens. And if you're already a subscriber to my channel, you might be thinking, wait, didn't you already make a video all about this laser? And you would be technically right. But that was also a pre-production beta model that was missing some of the functionalities of the release one. And you can see with them side by side, there are some differences. One of the most obvious is the color of the materials, but there's also now a large red button on the side, which is an emergency stop button. There's also an extra USB port on here now that works as a key so you can disable the laser if you need to. And with this retail unit, I can use the F1 slide extension. And this will make your cut in an engrave area about four times longer. And this is everything that comes in the box, which is a very simple setup, really. There's a cutout on the bottom of this that lines up with some markings to the bottom of the laser. And then there's just two screws underneath the sliding plate that you need to bolt down. And with that all mounted up, you just need to plug it in with one wire. And this did come with some really long photo paper, so I can test it out and make sure everything's working properly. And you can have this frame where it's going to be cutting in real time. This way you can make sure it's going to be actually cutting on your material. And when you're framing like this, you can scroll through the pattern itself using the control knob on the laser. And as you can see, it looks like it's working properly. And this only took about a minute to finish. And overall, the result looks pretty good, besides the one little hiccup right here on the S. And this was probably just due to the paper moving a little bit as it was engraving. And this does come with some material clamps to keep this from happening. And there is one downside to using the extension, you can't really use the enclosure. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be using this. But with that being said, this is really good at doing batches of things like business cards. And all you really have to do is line everything up in the software, and then match it up with the stuff on the engraving table. So definitely helpful for making large batches of things. So like the metal card like you saw, or you can do long pictures. And I thought this was interesting, being able to engrave a bunch of silverware. But you can still do batch work without this. It's just a little more manual. And the framing mode comes in really handy for this, along with this little mountable jig. So you can make sure you put your part in the same spot every time. And you have two different kinds of framing. One of them will just show a border frame of the entire area that it's going to be engraving but your other option will make an exact outline of what you're going to be engraving. So you can see exactly where it's going to be. And depending on what you're engraving and what material it is, you can get some work done pretty quick, seeing that this is actually engraving in real time. And it's not even warm to the touch when picking it up right after the engraving. So if you want to make a bunch of these back to back, you can just by putting it in the same place, like I was saying before, and double tapping the button on the side of the machine. And this will start up the last design that it did. And at least for this particular setup, as soon as this is done, I can take it off and start another one. And you can use this to custom engrave jewelry as well. And this will mark on metals pretty quick. And for darker and deeper engravings on metals, you're going to have to slow it down a bit and use multiple passes. And if I use this abrasive pad on it, you can see that it gets rid of all of the markings, which isn't what you really want. But after changing up the settings a bit more to go as slow as possible and to do about five passes. And even after using the abrasive pad, there's still a deep engraving in here, even though it removed all the black marking. And the Xtool software itself makes it really easy to make your own designs. And you can use multiple layers so you can have it engraved cut, and mark all at the same time. So you can make some pretty complex designs with this. And if you are planning on cutting things out with this, make sure you keep in mind that all of your edges will have a slight angle to them due to how this laser cuts. And another really helpful accessory for this is a rotary tool. So you can engrave on the outside and inside of rings or any round object, making it really easy to personalize rings. And if you are looking to get one of these, just the laser unit itself is $1,800. So not the cheapest thing in the world. And if you wanted to get everything I showed in this video, it's going to cost you about $2,500. But not everyone's going to need everything, so it's going to be up to you what you actually need. And they have a few different bundles for this, or you could just buy each piece on its own. So I'll have links to all of that in the description below. And if you wanted to see more things that you can make with this laser, check out my other video on the pre-production model. And I'll have a link on the screen right now so you can get to that easily. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. So let me know in the comments below what you think. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.